Look at those fingertips. They are maxed out. <laughs> I'm going to be knuckle dialing my phone for a couple of days. I don't usually mind a few stings, but last night my fingers were already at capacity, blood wise. <laughs> and I'm trying to get those bees out of that vac cage into a box, and I stuck my hand up in the cage and was just gently grabbing handfuls. And I got tagged three times in each of these fingers. <laughs> that hurt. And so, but now they're back. Where were they at the first right time? Here. Same place. Another, another back and through now the they're coming from the same place again. Is there any way to keep them out, like to encourage them not to come back? Yeah, you close the holes up with silicone. Welcome to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Hey, uh, if you got a house, it's full of holes. Go ahead and fix them. Go ahead and fix them right, as a matter of fact. Because if you don't, you're just inviting trouble. We got a. This is a swarm that moved in today in a location where there was a hive previously, and they were trapped out last time. So since they just moved in today, we're going to try to drill a hole inside and smoke them out. And then we'll let the homeowner make a call whether or not they want to cut the wall and get the comb out. Grab your laser. Grab your laser. I measured five foot from the outside corner, so. They're in the ceiling, ain't they? I don't know. So our, our uh, neighbor told us once that the people that lived here before, that there was a possibility that the ceiling did cave in because of these. We might have, did we uh, not tell you guys that? Oh, shit, that could be really important. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that is pretty important. The ceiling. From the honey. But we, didn't, we don't I didn't know that one about the house. When we just were just two holes in the walls, didn't we? But that's just what the name, that's what the name. All right, we're doing some ciphering on this one. The, uh, property owner told us they're in the wall in the kitchen so that's what we went with and we're cutting holes in their sheetrock dirtying up the kitchen and then all of a sudden they re recalled that when they bought the house the kitchen ceiling had collapsed previously because of honey and the weight of bees so that uh, very important little piece of information could have saved us some time so now we're pulling siding and hole sawing through the ribbon joist between the first and second floor to see if we can figure out where they're actually at. We're just drilling a hole right above where they're going in and they're kind of scattered out because I smoked them earlier trying to figure out if I could uh, stir them up so you could hear them on the inside any better and it didn't really work. Stirred them up a little bit but you could still couldn't tell where they were coming from. So Mr. Smarty Pants here went over there the other day <laughs> with a bee suit on no gloves. Oh, wow. I had gloves. They were just in the truck. <laughs> Don't you have a friend that's a fireman? Yeah. He teach you how to get down a ladder real quick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something about you lock your legs on the outside and slide down. Yeah, well, you ain't got far to go. <laughs> we're on hole number two, still trying to figure out where they are. We drilled one hole there and filled that cavity up with smoke and it didn't run them out. And we drilled a couple of small holes here 
blew smoke in there and it didn't do nothing, but I think we just weren't getting any smoke in there. Or Start not the enough. bees up. Huh? Start a little bit of bees up. Not Did much. you? Well, well, maybe we're making progress. Battery overheated again. There we go. Honey. <laughs> Can you see if it goes across the floor, Joyce? That is not. So we got we got honeycomb or we got comb in there between the floor joists. In between the two floor joists. Can you tell how deep it goes in? Uh uh. No. Because the comb section is typically gonna run side to side in this. Yeah. What we got going on here now? What's going on? We're having to cut the kitchen ceiling. They're in from the outside and uh, somebody didn't bring a saw deck on <laughs> Me, I didn't bring a saw. Mr. Preparation. <laughs> H. <laughs> <laughs> so, instead of going into the outside, we're going into the inside because they want them out like yesterday. And uh, we found out they didn't come, the bees didn't swarm in today. They swarmed out, they've been here. Good bit of information so, to know. So we got so we got a homeowner that says the bees were never here. And now they're in the wall. Well it turns out they've been here the whole time and they're in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're taking a break, I'm leaving to go get something to eat. We're like two hours into a swarm capture. That's what I came planning for. And uh, when we got here and of course they thought the bees uh, had just swarmed in and then they thought they were in the wall and you know we're just kind of going from what they're saying because they've had bee problems before so I assume they knew they were in the wall it comes to light that they were in the ceiling before and there were so many in there they collapsed the ceiling last time or, or one time before because they've been in there twice before as a matter of fact because they said somebody trapped them out last time and so, you know, all that, and we're drilling holes in walls where they're saying the bees are, and, I, and you can hear them, it sounds like they're in the walls, so, you know, honest mistake there. But we drilled in through the rim joist outside for the second floor, figured out they're in the ceiling over the kitchen, so now we're cutting out the kitchen ceiling, now I'm going to get rubber bands to strap comb and frames, and, Thankfully, the, it, it's a rental and the tenants have somewhere to go. The tenants are the ones coming up with all the good information. The homeowner acts like she just don't know anything. So they're, the tenants are actually the ones that are telling us that the bees were there before and they were in the ceiling before and all this kind of stuff. So that's it. So I'm running for supplies and dinner. I wish you had more light. No, no. That's the light we wanted to go to. Yeah, oh. there. Oh, is that the one? Okay. They're okay. drawn to the lights. You know about all this? You know about uh, He just said they were drawn to the light, so I, I figured, you know, the last thing I wanted to do was come through this here and go to that one. Yeah. You know, they're starting to aggravate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you don't have cats, cool as a cucumber. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. That is incredible. That is incredible. There's like 12 bees in here. <laughs> yeah, like 12,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more than that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Carlton's videotape. <laughs> Good idea. That's what we see every day, huh? No, that's not. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, there's just no, they're just everywhere. Oh, you can tell. Dang, man. So what you're saying is, 
they could all start flying. Yeah, they will. Uh, not likely, no. Oh, okay. It's nighttime, they'll try to stay tucked up in there, but they are drawn to light, so. Oh, I ought to piss them off. As long as that one's not too bright, so it's not going to attract them too much. When I boom and jerk sheetrock like that, they don't like that, then. Oh, man. Is that the comb? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Seriously, where's your line? Where's that line? Yeah. I was going to hold it because it's a button. The power button right there on top of the hill. Oh, can you go Yeah. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but oh my god. <laughs> Hey, if nobody's going to scream, at least somebody can laugh like a girl. Yeah, that's... <laughs> One just ran into my glasses. If I had yeah, my glasses on, you'd hit me in the eye. They do like eyes. Oh, he's yeah. heading right for it. Oh, oh Grace, please come here. Go around. Come here. You need to see this now. This, this, Grace, this is just... No, this is... A, this is phenomenal. This is so cool. Or call my dad. What? What? You already called my dad? No, my dad. Uh-oh. This is his home. Put some honey in. Mm. Grace yeah. Barola is mixing charge right now. Um, need a uh, bowl or something? Oh, wait. This is Nikki my first that. time. <laughs> <laughs> Where the bees are? Where the bees are? You gotta come. Yeah, you gotta come see this. Music piss them off? I don't, know. I don't think so. I usually have my truck doors open and the radio blare. I was thinking maybe Mozart. I'm about halfway through the comb, I think. I've got a few frames in the box. I'm just putting a t-shirt over it, keep them in and calm. And we got all the lights off in the house except for this one. I haven't had knee pain number one since then. Ah! Oh, you're so... <laughs> <laughs> You got a good picture? I think so. Honey, wasn't it? Yeah. You missed the bucket. <coughs> missed the bucket. Bucket's trash. Oh, okay. This one just keeps going and going. How many Queen says you're regular saying? 25 or 30? We're on box number two for the brood. Isn't there a show called Silence of the Bees? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're wrapping it up. What time is it? Ten o'clock? Sure. Yeah, it's past ten. Past ten? Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty?
Sounds about right. Yeah. Hey, what did you do Saturday night? I got these girls all tucked in for the night. I set them up and had to shake in. I only vacuumed about half the hive, so it was half the hive left in there, and so that was enough to keep the brood warm on the way home. And there's about 20 queen cells or so left in there that were good cells. So if only a few of those make it, will be good. But the, there, there's a lot of brood in those boxes, so they, those are they're gonna start off strong anyway. I'll probably go through them next weekend and. Uh, reduce them to one box but we'll see we'll see how they turn out I might have to go through and clean it up anyway because there's a bunch of rubber banded brood in there and I want to go to some frames with foundations in them so it's one o'clock in the morning I didn't get started on that until late but uh, I had fun it was a good Saturday night got me a hive another one <laughs> good night y'all